What's up guys? This is James Dean, the sales manager at the Bow Brokers, and we're here to help you. We've had a lot of people that have had problems loading and unloading their boats, not sure how to back up their trailers, and we're gonna show you an easy way to do that safely and properly. I'm here with Paige. Hi Paige. Hi. So is this your first time ever backing up a trailer? Yes. yes oh it is. wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so now how did you feel when you were first learning you were gonna do this video? A little nervous. A little nervous. A little nervous. Yeah. There's lots of people at the lawn tramp sometimes and if you start out messed cricket then you I get scared that I'm not gonna be able to correct it. So right now what she's doing is moving the mirrors so that they face downward so we can see the lines when we're backing up. You excited? Yes. Gonna learn how to back up a trailer? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. If you were watching this video, it is because you need help. The launch ramp can be a very vicious place. So the goal is to be in and out quickly. This thought alone can literally paralyze people with fear and trepidation. So being prepared is important. Experience will make all that go away eventually, but for now, when you are learning, just remember to relax. Slow and steady wins the race. Now when we come out of here, we're gonna go wide and you're gonna pick a lane. So which lane do you wanna go in? On that side. Okay, so we're gonna Second. make sure you go wide, remember? Keep going wide out here, and then you're gonna go a little bit past the lane, and then you're gonna turn sharp into it. Okay, so which lane? Second, Second lane. lane. So you're gonna go past it. Now turn sharp into it, and then straighten your wheel. Go straight, pull straight forward, and then look in your rear view mirror and see your boat is straight Not on both very, sides. Not very straight. Okay, which way is your boat facing right now? It's a little too far. To, to the, the left. left? Okay, so yeah. when you back up, now can you pull forward at all? You can, I think you can pull forward a little bit more. Did that straighten it out? Yeah, it did. Okay. So if you're ever crooked, you always can pull forward to straighten it? Yes. Okay. Now if it starts to go left, you're going to turn left. If it starts to go right, you're going to turn right. Which that will correct which direction the boat is facing. And then you're just going to come back slowly. If somebody's coming, you want to just let them go. I think they're waiting for me. Okay, go ahead. Remember, take it easy. Don't let them get you in a rush. They did. I felt like they did. Yeah, don't let people get you in a rush. You take your time and do what you need to do. There we go. I can see the boat again. So you got it straight now. Now, where's your lines at? What lane are you supposed to be in? I'm in the second lane, and I'm in the second lane, I believe. Okay, yep, I see it. Now you're a little bit of an angle, so keep going, and then you want to turn it towards the right to straight now. There you go, and now straight back. So you're going to turn it towards whichever way is crooked. Pull forward because you got a little bit out of, out of whack there. So pull straight forward until you get it straight. Now you're straight. There you go. Good job. Now you're just going to pull straight back. Oop. And what happened? You're going to the left, so you wanted to turn it to the left. So pull forward again. Because you're in this guy's lane, that guy that's backing up right now. So pull forward. There you go. And now if you start to turn, if it starts to go to the left, you're going to turn towards the left. Okay. Put it in reverse and then turn it towards the left because it's going towards the left, right? There you go. Now you're going straight. Okay. I think you're straight on the lines and you got it. Okay. If you get out of control, what do you do? pull forward and you start again. All right. <laughs> Great job. That was perfect that that happened. Yeah. When somebody gets on the launch ramp, you get in a panic and you want to rush. And you Don't rush. Don't let them affect your driving. As soon as you stopped worrying about them, you, 
you a lot slowed better. down and you did a lot better. Let's say all the lanes are full and you have to go in the third lane. Okay. So let's put it in the third lane this time. And the reason you always want to go wide too is because there, remember there's going to be boats in the other two lanes. So you got to go around the other boats. So you want to go as wide as you can okay. and you're going to go into the third lane. So you're going to go as wide as you can down here and then you're going to go past that third lane. Okay, and now you're going to turn into it sharp and then straighten out, straighten out, and then you're going to go straight forward. Sam's going to go really wide right here. And by going wide and then making a sharp turn and then just pulling straight into the spot, if he pulls all the way forward, you'll notice that the boat is straight. The key is don't take a short turn or you won't be able to get your boat straight because you won't have enough room to pull forward to get it straight. Your positioning turn is what will set the tone for your launch. Make sure you use all the room that is yours on the ramp. Stay in your lane, return your tow vehicle to a straight position. This will help keep a start in the right direction. Now that you are straight, before you start backing, remember for direction of the trailer, it's right to go left and left to go right. Sounds confusing, right? Yes, it is at first. It will become muscle memory before you know it. Start backing your boat, move slowly and watch how your boat moves and immediately make slight corrections to keep it straight. If you see anything but straight back, stop. Do not keep going, hope it will get better. This is the main mistake people make. The key is to stop. If you have to pull forward just a pinch with your wheel straight and get your boat straight. Remember that corrections are slow to see, so do everything slow at first. Overcorrecting is the second mistake that people make. It is always best to start over than to try to correct a trailer backing the wrong direction. This is why we go slow. Little mistakes are easy to fix with slight adjustments. Also, the longer the trailer, the easier it is to back up. And conversely, little trailers, single axle and jet ski trailers react very quickly and can be tricky, especially if you try to rush. So number one thing to remember? Start out straight. Start out straight. <laughs> turn <laughs> wide. Nice. Turn wide and start out straight. Way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Super simple, you start out straight, you end up straight going back and if, and if you get a little bit off, you can just follow it through and correct it and it's no big deal. No you did a great deal. job. Good job. Thank you. Thanks Paige. And I'm here with Paige. She was our first participant in the training that we're gonna do for backing up a boat and trailer. How was it? It was great. It was super easy. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was at all. Anybody can do it. If you can drive a car, you can do it. Awesome. Thank you. You <laughs> Thank did you. fantastic. Thank you. So what we're going to do is anybody that wants to come out to Boat Brokers, we're going to put on a class for free and we're going to help you guys. We want everyone to be safe and we want everybody to know what they're doing on the water and backing up your boat and trailer at the launch ramps. So please reach out to us. We'll take you down there. We'll do a class with you for free and help you. All the people that are nervous, shy, just come see us. Thanks. Have a great day.